Joining us now is Rachel Maddow, host of the highly rated The Rachel Maddow Show on MSNBC. She was at the hearings today. And Rachel, your reaction to what you saw? It was interesting, David. The slow walk implementation plan is certainly, which you've highlighted, uh, I think is the major headline for today. But there's something else going on, too, which is that Congress knows that it doesn't have to slow walk repeal. Uh, Senator Levin, the chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, said today said, almost as an aside at the very end of the hearing, you know, this night might not take 60 votes. We can just introduce this as an amendment to defense authorization. That would only require 50 votes. We could get this done. Implementation and the repeal of the law could be on two different time frames. But the other thing that was really interesting about the politics here is that if you closed your eyes for a second and squinted, you really could have believed when the Republicans were talking that it was 1993 again. They are on the exact same talking points they were on 17 years ago, as if nothing has changed. Uh, Senator McCain actually asked for the testimony from 1993 to be reintroduced back into the record today. And because they're still on those same talking points, they're trying to split President Obama from the military on this. They kept sort of expressing pity for Secretary Gates and Admiral Mullen as if they were being forced to do this thing that this liberal wanted them to do that they didn't want to do. They couldn't have been more tone deaf on that. Mullen and Gates both expressing with a lot of conviction and a lot of passion and Admiral Mullen in very passionate terms how opposed they are to don't ask, don't tell. And the Republicans really came off like they were talking out of another century. If the Obama administration wanted to, as he pointed out, they could say right now, as Senator Levin did, okay, we want this to change immediately and now it's coming. Congress's fault if it doesn't. What's your reaction to them essentially encouraging the military leaders to go out and testify and say, well, yeah, we said we were going to change it a year ago, but now we need another year to study this? Well, the, the, the question is whether they're studying not if to do it, but how to do it. Um, and there was, some con there was some conflict on that today. Uh, Gates and Mullen and many of the Democratic senators speaking today were saying, you know, this is, this is not about whether or not we're going to repeal. We're not studying whether or not don't ask, don't tell is a good idea. We know it's a bad idea. We have to study how to best get rid of it in a way that's going to be thoughtful, considerate, and appropriate. Okay. There were people on the Republican side and also Senator Jim Webb on the Democratic side saying, wait, 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 wait. We should be still be looking at whether or not this policy has some good elements to it. That should be part of the study. So there is going to need to be some more political leadership from the White House and perhaps from the upper echelons of the Pentagon uh, in terms of whether or not this is about just how to implement the repeal or whether repeal is a good idea. They're going to have to be more clear on that because otherwise there's a political divide there. The people who want to hold on to the policy are going to try to exploit. I got to ask you about this uh, Daily Coast Research 2000 poll that uh, just came out to today. And uh, take a look. And uh, here's the numbers 73% feel that gays should be prohibited uh, from teaching. 63%, and these are self identified Republicans, 63% believe President Obama is a socialist. 39% believe he should be impeached. 42%, only 42% believe he was born in the USA, meaning 58% either don't believe it or don't know. 21% believe that Acorn stole the election. 23% want to succeed from the United States. What is going on here? I think, I think, and I, I hope, and I think I remember that that bottom number about wanting to secede from the United States is just Republicans in the South. But even if it is just Republicans in the South, holy mackerel. I mean, that's a quarter of the population they've surveyed. Um, I mean, to have nearly two-thirds of the country say that uh, they think that Obama is a socialist, a third of Republicans wanting to outlaw contraception. Really? Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a wake-up call. And, and this was commissioned, obviously, by, by Coast or Research 2000, a very reputable polling firm, but commissioned by a, a left-wing website. And it's clear that liberals see this as important information for the country to know at large about the Republican electorate right now. If the Republican electorate is this extreme, what's the value of trying to reach across the aisle? What's the value of trying to make some sort of bipartisan peace here? How are you going to make bipartisan peace with people who want to secede from the union? I mean, a quarter of Republicans think that President Obama is an al-Qaeda sympathizer who wants the terrorists to succeed. It seems like not believing that can be an appropriate baseline for, 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 for constructive participation in the polity. Uh, and people who don't meet that baseline, um, I think... I think the right has to think about what it's telling its what it's telling its most ardent supporters. Well, Rachel, I know you're going to have uh, more on this on your show tonight, and yeah. thank you so much for sure, coming David, on. Sure, Always to see great you to see you. Thank Always you. wonderful to have you here and running around on Capitol. We appreciate it, and, uh, and thanks for joining Me us, too. Rachel. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. And again, be sure to watch the Rachel Mano Show every night uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, only on MSNBC. Rachel is.
by far one of the classiest people in this news business, and her show is terrific, just the same.